welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time I'm going to present my list of the top five new single board computers of the past 12 months, which is the period of time from October the 1st, 2018 to the end of September 2019. To be included in this list, the boards will have to be reviewed on this channel in the past 12 months. And the selection criteria are entirely personal, but I'm thinking about things like the board's hardware specifications, their software support, the level of innovation they bring to the market, their price performance ratio, and whether or not I happen to just really like particular boards. At number five on my list, we have the Rock Pi 4B which is an RK3399 based single board computer in a classic Raspberry Pi form factor. I've looked at quite a few RK3399 based SBCs on the channel in the past few years, and I think the Rock Pi 4B is my favorite of them. The RK3399 is a hexacore system on a chip, so it's quite a powerful chip, and this is coupled with one, two or four gigabytes of RAM, depending on the version of the Rock Pi 4B you purchase, and we've got USB 3 and we've got gigabit ethernet. And there's also an M.2 slot, which can take an NVMe SSD. Now, admittedly, you can't mount this directly on the board. You have to use an extender module. And you might remember when I first reviewed the uh, Rock Pi 4B, the extender module I looked at, people didn't like it very much in the comments. They thought it was too long. You couldn't access GPIO very easily. And as a direct result of those comments, Radsa redesigned the extender board. I looked at the updated version, which is a bit shorter, better access to GPIO. It was great to see that comments on the channel were directly influencing the design of accessories for the, the Rock Pi 4B. In terms of software, the board runs particularly well in Android. It's a good Android media player and streaming device. It can run in 4K very happily, as I've shown on the channel. So there we are, number five on my list of the top five new single board computers of the past 12 months is the Rock Pi 4B. So what's number four on my list? Well, it's the Raspberry Pi 3A. Plus, which I sometimes think about as the forgotten Raspberry Pi of, of the last sort of year or so, but it's a very, very, very nice board. The Raspberry Pi 3A Plus sells for $25, and it gives us pretty much all of the power of a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, but for that lower price tag, it is a much smaller and particularly thinner form factor. So we still get a quad-core A53 CPU, really at up to 1.4 gigahertz. We only get half a gigabyte of memory compared to one gigabyte on the Pi 3B+, and we only get one USB 2 port. But we do have onboard Wi-Fi, onboard Bluetooth, a camera connector, a display connector, and a 3.5 millimeter jack with audio out and composite video out. So this is really a fantastic projects board. If you want more power than a Raspberry Pi Zero, considerably more power than a Raspberry Pi Zero in a small form factor, and you want a Raspberry Pi, then you should very strongly consider the Raspberry Pi 3A+. Next on my list, it had to be here somewhere, at number three we have the Raspberry Pi 4B. That fantastic unexpected launch of June 2019. The Raspberry Pi 4B added lots of fantastic features we all really wanted to a Raspberry Pi. We got true gigabit ethernet. We got USB 3 ports. I personally really wanted those. We got a 4K output. We got a faster processor. We got options for two or four gigabytes of memory in addition to the one gigabyte memory model. So lots and lots of things are there to really like about the Raspberry Pi 4B. And you might therefore be wondering, Chris, why is the Raspberry Pi 4B only at number three on your list of the top five new single board computers of the past 12 months? Well, one thing to say is the list is very, very close in terms of the order. I know I've got the right boards here, but the order potentially can change around. But the reason at the moment I put the Raspberry Pi 4B at number three is there are a few things about it which niggle me. One of them is having the micro HDMI connectors. I've already had problems using micro HDMI connecting for, to do a video. The video I made uh, for last week had this problem. I plugged things in, didn't work, I had to take them out, reseat the connector. 
The micro HDMI connector is simply not a very good connector for makers. If you are constantly plugging and unplugging as I am making videos, it can give you trouble. And I do worry that other single board computer manufacturers will go, oh, it's all right to use micro HDMI now because the Raspberry Pi Foundation have done it. That's not a trend I really welcome. I know why they did it, because we've got the dual outputs on the uh, Raspberry Pi 4B, that is great, but micro HDMI for me is not necessarily a price worth paying. There's also the issue of cooling. As I've shown on this channel, it's perfectly possible to cool a Raspberry Pi 4B very well indeed, but it is a board I think it should have had a little bit of a acknowledgement in the actual design of the board to the fact it would need some sort of, of cooling solution. In my opinion, it needs a cooling solution. So I really very, very much like the Raspberry Pi 4B, but it hasn't made higher than number three on my list of the top five new single board computers of the last 12 months. Right. I've started to get controversial, and I'm going to continue in that vein. Because at number two on my list, we have the Latte Panda Alpha from DF Robot, which is a very expensive but also very powerful x86 based single board computer. The Latte Panda Alpha launched in October 2018 with a seventh generation Intel M3Y730 CPU, but due to supply shortages, of that chip, it was upgraded in March 2019 to use an 8th generation Intel M3 8100Y, which is more expensive, puts the price below the board, but it also increases the power by 30%. And in addition to that CPU, we also have 8 gigabytes of RAM on the board, and we've also got an M.2 slot, and we've got an integrated Arduino. So the Latte Panda Alpha is a very powerful single board computer. And I know it's controversial because people go, Chris, for the price of this board, you could buy a laptop or you could build a fantastic desktop PC. And you could. So why is this number two on my list? And the reason is really this shows what is possible. With the Latte Panda Alpha, DF Robot, the manufacturer of this board, took what they'd learned with the original Latte Panda and they really refined it and increased the power. And if you want a very powerful board in a small SBC form factor, I don't think you can beat the Latte Panda Alpha. This really is effective life, like being able to have the power of a desktop you can carry in your pocket. And that is unusual. That is a form of innovation. We have to remember in computing that what is very expensive today gets cheaper in the future. And this board, I look at this board and I think, we'll be buying boards like this for a few tens of dollars in not that many years from now. But it takes people to push the envelope, to make hardware like this, to really push things forward. And that's why I applaud what has been done with the Latte Panda Alpha. So that's why I put the Latte Panda Alpha at number two on this list. So, what have I put at the top of this list? And the answer is, at number one, we have this, the Jetson Nano from NVIDIA, which I think reflecting back over the last 12 months has been my best new single board computer experience of the past year, both in terms of the hardware and also the software, and the things I've been able to do with the board. The Jetson Nano is actually a SOM, a system on a module that plugs into a carrier board, and it's based on a quad-core system on a chip. It's got four A57 cores running at up to 1.43 gigahertz, and it's got four gigabytes of memory. And I also like the fact it's got a massive heatsink on the, the system on a chip. But the critical thing here is that on the Jetson Nano, we've got a GPU with 128 CUDA cores, an NVIDIA Maxwell GPU. And this is here because the board is focused by NVIDIA on AI, on machine learning, on therefore Internet of Things applications, um, vision recognition, that type of stuff. And because of that, some people will be saying, Chris, why have you got this on the list, let alone at the top of the list, because it isn't a general single board computer. It's focused in that AI space. And my answer is twofold, really. One is that single board computers have for many years now been focused a lot in the consumer space on education. That's where the Raspberry Pi came into the market, isn't it? To give people something to experiment with, to learn about computing. But Jetson Allo is doing the same thing again with learning about 
AI, which I'm convinced is the future of computing. I've yet to convince many people on this channel of that, but I'm sure learning about AI is a critical thing now if you want to learn about the future of computing and build a computing career. And therefore, this is an important board in that respect. The other thing I'd say is, although NVIDIA have focused this board on the space they've used for other Jetson boards in the past, which is AI and IoT, you can use this as a general single board computer. The uh, desktop operating system we have available called, called Jetpack based on Ubuntu is really good. And we don't yet have a hardware support for the CUDA cores in terms of things like video playback, although it is apparently being worked on. But even without that, this is a good board that I've shown in my same review comparing it to the Raspberry Pi 4B. You can use it for decent video playback and video editing. You can even do on it and office type stuff, all that type of thing. So this is a board which could be an absolute market leader if NVIDIA wished to really push it into the general consumer space. They haven't yet, but it could go in that direction. But even so, I am just impressed with the Jetson Nano, and that's why it's number one on this list. So, there we are, my top five new single board computers of the past 12 months the Rock Pi 4B, the Raspberry Pi 3A+, the Raspberry Pi 4B, the Latte Panda Alpha, and the Jetson Nano. You, of course, might have completely different views, and I'm sure if you do, you're already letting us know about them down in the comments section, getting those, exercising those fingers. But uh, now that is it for this video. If you enjoyed what you see there, please press that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.